लाइव वीडियो ठीक है Of both 
Government of India, Ministry of Tourism, and the State Government. Honor Se Roj Kartak and Entrepreneurship Programs are the flagship programs of Government of India. We provide training in areas such as multi cuisine cook, bakery, homestay, guiding, reception service, food and beverage service, and other hospitality programs to contribute to the growth of the tourism sector and generate employment as tourism has the capacity to reduce the unemployment issues in our country. Thank you and a national and a happy National Tourism Day to all of you. Thank you, sir, for Cursor. A round of applause for Cursor for setting the stage and eloquently outlining the purpose of our gathering today. Now it's time to express our gratitude. Here we have some presentation, a token of our appreciation from the Department of Tourism. I request Devoti Lawang Man, PTO Yupia, to kindly present these tokens to our honored guests. Thank you. 
Mr. 
Kita kip seorang. Thank you. 
teachers, all the participants. Uh, it gives me immense pleasure to be around you because it's when it comes to tourism. Professionally, I am a tour operator. Uh, it makes me more towards uh, events. Uh, though I present myself as a president of the Tourism but I am a tour operator at the And I specialize in world watching, uh, trekking, and cultural trips. And in this last three years, actually, tourism is my first step. It's my bread and butter where I live on. And I'm placed here to give you a lot of uh, wisdom in terms of photography, but uh, I see very few uh, participants, photography participants who have been here. So, as much as, uh, as long as the photography comes into, there's a world of photography now after coming off social media. There's like Instagram and Facebook, you know, Telegram and other stuff. So photography plays a nice role to promote your places. As many of you, I'm not very introduced in our group, but I believe that many of you are trained to be a guide in the jungle, and some of you are uh, trained for food, as one of the pastors introduced himself to me. So uh, photography is one medium, whatever you do, how you send your color. Photography is the first medium that you connect to your people. So you have to focus uh, more how you take photographs. It's not just like taking photos because everybody has a mobile phone. But now it's more about skills, actually. When it comes to photography, it's not just taking photos. You have to take care of the lights and things. So, and photography engages to come will be one of our kind of the profession in the channel, in particular and not actually in uh, general, because every even you know, people are now they have baby showers and they're getting pre-wedding, post-wedding, photography, and events like this, they, they are looking for photographs. And uh, there are a huge demand for photographers. And uh, when it comes to demand, they are huge. And in a day, a photographer can make from 5,000 to 12,000 rupees a day, depending upon their skill, how you develop yourself. So besides whatever you can do, as I am a photographer, I am a urban photographer and author of a book called The Roads Around Channel, which I co-author with my colleague, uh, uh, an IPS officer, so we did it during the lockdown. So I may not be aware of, but we did a book on birds and talent. So photography takes you to the next level. So now I'm uh, taking out it into getting into uh, birds uh, documentary, visual documentary, making videos of birds and animals. So that's my name. So photography is one thing you can really connect to your customers, your people. You can promote your area, your product. So I believe, uh, because we on this photography club keep on doing for the works and for the exhibitions. And uh, you can come and join one of our workshops where you can learn more about photography in a better manner. So we have started doing this, uh, we are more focused towards the uh, youths of Arunachal Pradesh, bringing to them the skills in emerging tourism and photography. That's our main uh, target as we come from different backgrounds. So, what we're doing is we have a new theme and it's a focus area for us saying giving back to society. So in which we are giving back our years of experience in our lifetime that I have As I said, I'm in tourism for the past 20 years. So we are sharing our experience towards uh, youths like you, where you don't need to fail like we did fail, because in our time, my time face we didn't have any mentor to teach us or to guide us how to go about in life and choose the right profession. But for you, as you are here, you have uh, gone through it. Already, when you are sharing your experiences, you say you really praise about your teachers who taught you in the theory class and those who put you in the field. You have teachers now, but in my time, you didn't have teachers. So it's right time for you to grow because tourism is uh, one right place for a natural region boom. And the floodgate is here to open. We are the last of the Himalayas of India. And many are eyeing into it, and we need to feel resourceful. Uh, I'm jumping into tourism, coming into as that's my background. So, tourism is one place when every one of us, as we are the least populated state of India, every one of us can be employed. All you have to do is you know, dedicate whatever uh, genre of tourism as one of the participants or second in tourism as different aspects, different department. Uh, uh, and you can choose one of it and you specialize yourself because we need to get hold of our revenues to our people because when tourists come, they spend here. 
So to connect uh, home stay or uh, tourism, anybody who's traveling 24 hours away from their home, sleeping in a place he needs a tourist. It can be you who are coming from the district, staying here for the last three days, taking your blind training, you are a tourist to Italian. Maybe you are a bachelor, but you have come from Jiro, Dapo, or wherever you are from here. You are here a tourist because you are away from your home for 24 hours. You are bringing in money, you are spending your money buying a coffee or a pasta or a pizza. What you are doing? You have made your money in your hometown. You have come to Italy and you are spending that money. So then you are part of your treatment or you are supporting the revenue of Italy. You are supporting the vendors of Italy. You are supporting the vegetables because you are staying in a hotel. The hotel players is buying. They are taking a transport. They are also supporting the revenue and economy. That's how it goes. Tourism supports each and every denizen of the state. It's not only tourism, but how we pay some time. Everybody, a woman selling a vegetable also gets money or from the tourist. A boy who's serving a cup of tea to you is also getting money from your spendings. And I say, Arunachal is gold mine for the next 20 years in tourism. Before the floodgates were closed, before we hire people from a better part of India, say from Goa or Kerala, bring in the skilled people and work for us, then I make the money as a vendor, as a tour operator, as a hotelier, as a homestay owner. But the revenue goes back to these respective places. It will go to Kerala and Goa. It won't stay in our nature. That's why we need our youth to come forward and take those jobs before anybody else takes up that job. There is no shame in working any kind of job pick up. There is no uh, lose of reputation or your dignity when you work as a guide, as a driver, as a waiter, you know, as a uh, selling meat or selling uh, vegetables. There is no shame in it. As long as you are making money and you are having a very really dignified life, making money from your own hard work, as long as you are making money or stealing money. So I uh, personally request everybody to go for the person the next day. Biggest industry in Arunachal Pradesh because you cannot bring any bigger factories or uh, other industry because they, can, they are concentrated to a number of people saying they will hire only seven number laborers or employees. But tourism hires everybody. You don't need to be employed by somebody. You are employed already. Because as you sign up as a guy around capital and I have to take the names from the director, from the madam who are giving you training for my next client, I'll definitely go through your quality of explanation, how you present yourself, how much you are skilled, how much knowledge you have, and definitely I'll hire you. So that's the thing. Government has been, progressive tourism has been doing a very excellent job all these years during the pandemic also. They are the only partner or Alessia is the only uh, place where we were supported by the government, by Arunachal Tourism. And we are very humble to have a nice and so friendly um, you know, Arunachal Tourism team from the director. And they have been, uh, you know, trying hard to promote homestay. And Arunachal Homestay is one of the largest network of homestay in India. When you talk about the numbers of places they have, the number of homestays they have. So to inform you that, so Arunachal has the highest number of chain of homestays all across the state, even if you compare with Lady Ladakh, where everybody talks to you, we have more numbers. We need to improve our quality and service system. That is where a uh, uh, you know, person like Corsa is giving his lifetime working here, last bus is coming to an each and everybody in the place. So it's we, we need to accept ourselves, we need to take on and step into it and take our own responsibility, you know, to showcase your state, your people, your culture, your tribe. At the same time, you are making money each time you talk about your state. Showcase your place, so, uh, you know, opening up your space for people to live in. So, I hope, I mean, I could touch one of you. Anybody needs any further information, I'm always here, Tariq Bhai is always there. And he has been calling me very badly all these years, you know, to get into tourism. So I'm always there, ready to give, share you more information on tourism, how to go about uh, when it comes to skill development, knowledge development, information about destination, destination development, home set development, whatever kind of uh, information you need, support you need, I'm always there. I'm a company called BEC Voices and uh, I'm the president of Monash Photography Club but I really turned my club into an adventure tourism you know, uh, promoting club. We are training people, uh, training the youths of Anjao Law. The past two training we already have done and we are doing another one in fact. So we are coming into the next place and we are choosing each year which is one place, one of the districts and 
we uh, teach them, we guide them to how to go about agriculture tourism. And we have sustainable water, not damaging the nature, taking care of the nature, and uh, harnessing money and revenues and everything from the nature that we live in. So you don't need to go migrate to capital or go to Guwahati or Delhi or Kolkata to get money. So that's the whole idea, and this is how we are giving back to our society, sharing our skills, our knowledge, our experiences to all the youths of our enterprise. With that, I sum it up. Thank you very much for all of you. Thank you for being here. 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 Thank you we are truly honored, sir, by your presence today in such a short notice, and we are thrilled to have you share this momentous occasion with us. Let's give a warm welcome to DCICR Shitalopotomji. Thank you. 
करना होगा और आज तो हम यहाँ बिजी है तो कल हम सपोज आपको सेक्रेटरीट में टूरिज्म एरिया में अगर हम चांस मिलता है तो आप लोग आज जो यहाँ ट्रेनिंग ले, लेने वाला लोग है आप लोग जरूर मिलने के लिए आना है हाँ आज का दिन को याद करके बताना है कि पतुम साहब आप पसंद देता है क्या <laughs> काम तो कराओ है ना काम तो कराओ ऐसे कर बोलने के लिए आइए तो हम इतना में रखेगा आप लोग को आज का टूरिज्म डे में आप एक रिजर्वेशन लेके जाना है कि टूरिज्म सेक्टर में आप लोग पार्टिसिपेट करेगा अपना फैमिली को अपना सोसाइटी को अपना स्टेट को इसी में आप जैसे आप लोग प्रेसिडेंट साहब ने जैसे बोला आगे बढ़ाने के लिए कोशिश कीजिए हम लोगों का साइज से एज ए इंडिविजुअल एज ए ब्यूरोक्रेट हमेशा तैयारी रहेगा क्योंकि हमको भी एक ही चीज़ दिखाई देता है अरुणाचल में ये टूरिज्म सेक्टर में ही हमको नौकरी भी मिलेगा चौकरी भी मिलेगा चौकरा भी मिलेगा नहीं नहीं चौकरा भी मिलेगा बहुत न्यूज बनाते रहता है सब कुछ मिलेगा तो इसलिए बेस्ट ऑफ लाइफ और कल्चर प्रूफ लोग एक्चुअली आने पार्टी लोग जो यहाँ आज आया है ये देश दिखा है ना सिर्फ एक ग्रुप को आप लोगों को अपना जो एरिया में है जहाँ में होम स्टे बना रहा है और जहाँ में बच्चा लोग पढ़े लिखे है जैसे हमारा अभी जैसे कि अरुणाचल में क्लास टेन में ड्रॉप आउट थर्टी सिक्स परसेंट हो रहा है फिर ट्वेल्व में जाके सिक्सटी समथिंग परसेंट होता है तो आप लोगों को जैसे होम स्टे बना रहा है आप लोग गाइड कीजिए आप लोग ग्रुप में मिल के बनाएंगे ना तो हमारा ये डिस्ट्रिक्ट टूरिज्म ऑफिसर आ गया है इटानगर में इनसे भी गाइडेंस ले लो और इसमें हम लोग का जो जैसे दिन दयाल उपाध्याय का अंदर में भी ये आपको मिलता है लोन मिलता है और सब्सिडी भी मिलता है अप्लाई करना है ये बार भी एक लेडी को मिला है काबा कुछ है तो उसने फिर ये नहीं करना है क्योंकि आप यहाँ बाहर से आने वाला लोग लोकल टच चाहिए ना सिर्फ बाथरूम सफा होना है जस्ट ना वो गवर्नर का साथ में भी वही है गवर्नर भी वही सजेशन दे रहा था बेडशीट और ये पिलो सफा होना है रूम सफा होना है लेकिन लोकल टच होना है उसके बाद टॉयलेट बाथरूम साफ होना है ये सिर्फ थोड़ा ध्यान देना है तो लोकल सेल्फ ग्रुप को हम लोग बीच में वो खाना खिलाने के लिए भी देता है लेकिन वो पूरा बाहर का वो ये होटल का खाना खिलाते हैं ना ऐसे नहीं होना है ना आप लोग को इसलिए देता है कि लोकल टच आजकल बाहर से जो आता है ना किस लिए आता है यहाँ का लोकल चीज को थोड़ा एक्सपीरियंस करने के लिए महसूस करने के लिए आता है उस हिसाब से टूरिज्म को आपको आगे बढ़ाना है रेस्ट तो बोलने से बहुत बहुत जरा बात होगा किसी को बात करने दिन होने से हमारा साथ आइए अच्छा से बात करेगा अभी तो इतना में रहता है आप लोग को ये चोरने वाला नहीं हूँ नहीं हम नहीं है टूरिज्म डिपार्टमेंट चोरने वाला नहीं है और दादा आप तो अशोका होटल चोर किया इधर आया तो थोड़ा सा इन लोगों को ना अच्छा से सिखाइए हॉस्पिटलिटी ही इम्पोर्टेंट है इसका हमारे पास सब कुछ है लेकिन हमारे पास हॉस्पिटलिटी का कमी है इसको थोड़ा से सिखा दीजिए ना अच्छा से सिखा दीजिए बेस्ट ऑफ लाभ बुलाने के लिए थैंक यू I give it great honor and privilege to propose a word of thanks 